お前を縛るものは何もない白い町の鉄の国境も短かった寿命も This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 saddest backstories in one piece. For this list, we're going to be going over the most tragic flashbacks and origin stories for characters across the One Piece franchise. Naturally, there will be spoilers. If there's a One Piece backstory that makes you weep just thinking about it, share it with us in the comments below. And as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, e so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which One Piece list you want to see next. Number 10, Senor Pink. Initially, coming across as just another one of Oda's quirky character designs, given that he's a hard boiled pirate who's dressed as an infant, the origins behind Senor Pink's unique dress sense is utterly heartbreaking. Years ago, he fell in love with a woman, Russian, who hated pirates. Not wanting her to know about what he does, he told her he was a banker. They eventually had a son. Unfortunately, their son died while Senor was away, and this, coupled with her discovery that her husband was flying under the skull and crossbones, sent Russian into a vegetative state. <laughs> the only thing Senor could do to make his wife smile or react at all was to dress like their departed son. Quite the story for a minor villain. <laughs> Number 9, Nami. Every member of the Straw Hat Pirates has a sad backstory, and the first one to strike a chord was the ship's navigator. Growing up with her adopted mother, Belmir, and sister, Noshiko, life was pretty normal for Nami. At least until the fishmen invaded, led by Arlong. The vicious pirate proceeds to murder Belmere in front of her daughters when she can't pay their protection fee. Nojiko! Nami! Daisuke. Nami is then forced to work for Arlong for many years, making maps for him and stealing in desperate hope of buying her village back from her mother's killer. You can see why she had issues. <laughs> Number 8, Sabo. The oath brother of Luffy and Ace, Sabo was their closest companion during their childhood. However, unlike the two of them, he was born a noble. <laughs> Disgusted with his parents' desire to maintain status at any cost, it was only when Sabo learned of the nobility's plans had been the poor, trash filled community he'd called home that he resolved to leave for good. <laughs> At least until his little getaway boat is shot down by another passing noble just for the hell of it. Although Sabo thankfully survives, it's still one of One Piece's darkest outings. Number 7, Kozuki Oden. While the history of this legendary figure of Wano Country is mostly optimistic, detailing his rise to fame and adventures with pirates, its ending is bitterly tragic. <laughs> After returning to Wano, Odin discovers that the sleazy Orochi has usurped his father as Shogun and made an alliance with the powerful pirate Kaido. This results in Odin and his men being sentenced to death via being boiled alive. While Odin manages to survive for an hour holding up his men in the process, he's still ultimately executed.
It's a sad yet badass conclusion to his tale. Number 6. Boa Hancock Arguably the most beautiful woman across all oceans, Hancock's looks are only matched by her abject hatred of men, with the exception of Luffy. However, she wasn't always so closed off and tyrannical. When she was young, Hancock and her sisters were taken as slaves by the world nobles. They were given devil fruit powers and toyed with for the amusement of their captors. <laughs> Although they are eventually freed by a fellow slave, Hancock's trauma had already affected her ability to trust in other people. Although Hancock is far from the only one to be subjugated in the series, her experience affects her the most demonstrably. Number 5. Tony Tony Chopper Given that he's an intelligent blue-nosed reindeer, Chopper's life seems destined for exclusion. However, despite being rejected by people and animals alike, he still found familiar love via the eccentric quack doctor, Hiroluk. Alas, Chopper's efforts to save his father figure resulted in an accidental poisoning. <laughs> Resolved that he's going to die, Hiroluk takes his own life so that his son won't have been the one to kill him. A man only dies when he's forgotten, and neither we nor Chopper will forget him anytime soon. <laughs> Number 4. Sanji Nobody was prepared for the Straw Hat's resident ladies man to have such a harrowing past, especially given how the pain is twofold. Although born a prince of the Juma Kingdom, Sanji was relentlessly bullied and abused by his family, except his mother and sister, due to being born without their augmented strength. <laughs> Eventually, he managed to escape with his sister's help, but even that wasn't the end of his tragedy. <laughs> A few years later, Sanji was stranded on a small island with the pirate captain, Zef. The pair were stuck there for weeks, slowly starving. Although both survived to be rescued, Sanji learns that Zef gave him most of the food and even ate his own leg as a means of survival. <laughs> Bottom line, Sanji had a rough childhood. Number 3. Nico Robin Oh yeah, this one hurts. Raised by relatives who ignored or mistreated her, Robin was rejected by kids her age because of her devil fruit powers. Her only friends being local archaeologists and a giant named Saul, both on the run from marines. Sadly, his arrival also heralded the return of not only her long absent mother, but also the governments and the marines. Fearing the knowledge of the Pungliffs the scholars had been studying, the government basically commits genocide, killing everyone on the island and practically everyone Robin had ever met. <laughs> the sea's a fast place, so I guarantee someday you'll find friends who won't ever leave you. Because of this, she grew up believing she didn't deserve to live, not helped by the fact the world government branded her a criminal. <laughs> You're hungry? Sorry, me too. <laughs> Number 2. Trafalgar Law The resident bad boy of the franchise grew up in a country which mined a toxic material called amber lead. Prolonged exposure shortened the citizens' lifespans and led neighboring countries to believe it was contagious. The warring nations basically exterminated the populace, including Law's family and friends. He had to smuggle his way out through a pile of corpses. Oh, but the tragedy isn't done yet. 
Law fell in with the Don Quixote pirates, where a traitor among their ranks, Corazon, took Law to find a cure. After finding the devil fruit that would save Law, Corazon was murdered by his brother Doflamingo, right in front of Law. Just after Corazon had given Law hope again, all of it was dashed. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Brook. Nah, Brook. After promising their whale friend Laboon that they would be reunited one day, Brooke and his crew met with a succession of disasters. First, half of the crew is lost due to illness. Then, while trapped in a foggy sea, the remaining crew are poisoned in a fight with other pirates. Brooke hates a devil fruit that lets him come back from the dead, so he proposes they all record their favorite songs as they die to play for Laboon once he returns. This sequence alone is gut-wrenching, but Brooke's afterlife is even sadder. His soul returns to animate his skeletal body, and he's forced to spend the next 50 years alone and adrift with only the dead bodies of his friends for company. Yo ho ho indeed. Sora. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.